Hello and welcome to the latest installment of the Confex Q&A where we find out a little bit more about our clients who are going to be exhibiting at International Confex and what you guys as visitors, as event planners, uh, have in store for you at the show. Today, I'm joined by Sarah Booth from Clownfish Events. Uh, so let's get to it. Hi, Sarah. Thank you for joining me on the latest edition of the Confex Q&A. Um, why don't we start with a bit of an overview about who you are yeah. and a little bit of an overview of Clownfish Events. Yeah, thanks. So I'm Sarah. I live in South Croydonway with my husband, Jesse, um, and I've been at Clownfish for six and a half years. Um, I head up the entertainment side of the business, so that is just all the fun stuff. So whether it's a world's largest Pac-Man, a giant scale tricks, a photo booth, a live a live band, whatever it is, I head up the events and sales for that side of the business. Yeah. Um, as a wider company, though, we offer high-end AV um, for lots of conferences, award shows, gala dinners, things like that. Um, and then on an even wider scale, we do end-to-end -end event management as well. So, yeah. So you do a lot, it yeah, seems. a lot. <laughs> lots of different branches to the business. That's great. Yeah. Um, Talk to me about your journey and um, what it was mm -hmm. that got you into events, why you love events so much, why you're here today. Yeah, thanks. So I kind of fell into it. It was never my <laughs> intention lot of people do. to work in events. Um, so left school, didn't go to uni. It just was not for me. Um, found a business school um, in London where I trained as a PA. Um, and from there, at the age of 19, I just went straight into my first job. So that's kind of when my career started. I started in a private equity firm um, as an EA, um, looking after five five guys um and then yeah kind of fell fell and stumbled into clownfish yeah. <laughs> um in 2017 um, and i've been here ever since so i came in as the office manager mm -hmm. um, to work with matt in the office um quickly learned sales and then started taking on my new like my own clients um and here we are six and a half years later wow. well, <laughs> on the leadership quite team a journey. And, yeah well i think it's quite common isn't it in in events nowadays that most mm. people have not um, taking the traditional route but I think yeah. that's um, that's also what makes it a bit more exciting yeah. I think I'm the same I've come from quite a varied background and fallen into it yeah. um, talking about clownfish then uh, uh -huh. clownfish events what is it that makes them different and stand out I mean you guys do a lot as you mentioned at the start um, I've had a tour of your office today yeah. in your warehouse <laughs> and there's lots of um, crazy and wacky things yeah. going on here there and everywhere so what is it that makes you guys different yeah it's a good question I think a lot of people here would say their service and that is very true for us. Um, but I think our three internal culture points are probably what really makes us stand out as a company. Um, so they are be entrepreneurial, accept accountability and have fun. So as a team, I mean, we've got like, I think it's 10 or 20 points for each category there that we have printed out. You can see them across the building, but we all kind of live and work by them um so we're always trying to challenge okay what would the best in the world do how can we think outside the box how can we be different here like the events industry is in like constantly growing and evolving and pivoting what can we do to be on top of that game like yeah how can we be entrepreneurial and that's whether you're like creating a brochure in the marketing team or delivering an event or like me in the sales like looking after our clients how can we constantly do the best and kind of challenge the norm and things like that um being accountable, um, we as workers and employees want to be a super reliable bunch. Um, we want to like stay true to our word. We follow through on what we say. Like we want to be that um, both internally, but also that just feeds out to our clients again in every other area of the business <laughs> and especially on an event. Like, yeah, what solutions can we bring? Things like that. And then most of all, we want to have fun. Like we work in the events industry. We want to have fun. So, <laughs> I mean, we just come back from a company ski trip. I think we embody <laughs> the true definition <laughs> of fun. Yeah. Um, and yeah. And like, yeah, we've picked up, I think only ever five star reviews. Great. And I think those three things probably are kind of the linchpins to what actually sets us apart and how we do things at Clownfish. That is possibly quite different to other companies out there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, but I think so important. So great. You love having fun here. That's yeah. amazing. Let's <laughs> let's look a little bit outside the business. Let's yeah. look at what you're delivering for clients. So yeah. um, 
especially with how events have changed so much over the last few years, coming back to live events, bringing yeah. people to your events, getting them to engage in person. How important is it for them to be having fun at your events? Yeah, hundred percent. So I think I was actually speaking to a client the other day and she said, I finally convinced my directors that an event cannot be death by PowerPoint. Like <laughs> there just has to be some fun there. And like, we've all been at events where it's just awkward small talk, kind of haze yeah. and some like some Prosecco or whatever. And it's, yeah. they're just not fun. Like, Everyone wants to leave. No one <laughs> yeah. actually wants to be there. Like I remember working in a corporate. I was like, oh, you're actually going to go to the event tonight. Mm -hmm. No one actually cared about it. Everyone knew the drill. Um, so I think it actually injecting some fun, whether that is like an interactive arcade game that just provides some competition for people to break the ice or a photo booth for people to have a take, little take home or like a live band taking requests for a few hours. Like just injecting some of that fun massively changes the landscape for mm -hmm. events. And we really challenge our clients on that. And a lot of people think the fun stuff yeah. is a waste of money or it's distracting <laughs> or it's just not necessary. But I think having that and prioritizing that stuff actually like will massively change companies and like their events and their mm -hmm. employee engagement and all those things that actually companies really need, especially coming out of COVID where mm -hmm. everyone's so detached and you just work from home and yeah. you have a team's call once a day. It's just, yeah, I don't, we don't believe that cuts it in terms of building teams teams and morale and things like that within companies so yeah absolutely yeah, yeah really good answer um so i was going to ask you what can be done to address this but you've given us some good points <laughs> there um put your head in one of your clients point of views mm. um thinking about um how uh, they're running their own events um, what are some sort of easy tips that they yeah. can they can implement to to make their events more fun more engaging for their delegates to make sure people yeah. are, are getting through the door and and attending on the day yeah there's definitely a few things and there's a number of routes you can go down i think one of the questions i always ask is when they're like oh we just want we've got a couple of hours we just need some fun and they don't really know what they want and a big question i always start with is okay well do you want force fun or do you want just free for all because <laughs> okay. you can go down a team bonding route that can take up you can like create like an hour yeah. long thing a lot of companies want that because actually their teams don't know each other they yeah. need people interacting they need that like cross departmental um i think especially and things like that with with how much yeah. people's teams have changed in the last few years yeah. with people moving in the sector out of the sector exactly. i think team building is, is so important to, exactly. to get people i think it's, it's maybe overlooked people don't realize yeah. that their teams might not know each other well enough exactly yeah. so it's, it's really massively overlooked so yeah. yeah that's always like an option that we offer to people um or actually yeah do you just want free for all do you just want during a drinks reception do yeah. you want people to just go up and play like a striker light or something and actually a lot of like a lot of times they do just want that and that's perfect for them. Um, so there's that, but then there's also like a lot of our, like for example, our summer games, um, some of them are more active and people mm -hmm. are like, oh, I don't really want like women who might be in nice dresses. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want them like on a game where they could, sorry, I feel like I'm, you want to cut this bit. Uh, no. <laughs> um, yeah, like some games might not be appropriate yeah. for some events. So we just talked to clients about that. We've got so many options. So you can go down the games route or you can go down a like interactive photo experience that actually like our photo mosaic wall, mm -hmm. it encourages collaboration and there's a whole, like it just has a different message other yeah. than competition. It's got, yeah, that collaboration at the end of the event that all I guess can see what they've contributed to. And mm -hmm. actually it's the giant logo, but made up of everyone's faces there at the event. Mm -hmm. So there's just so many different fun things you can go down. Yeah. Or do you just want to get people like loosening up, enjoying some live music yeah. with a great band and I think they all kind of offer a similar thing, but it's a lot what, like what direction our clients want to go down. And yeah. obviously you can have a mix of everything. Yeah, um, absolutely. And yeah. you can do all of it for them. Exactly. Conveniently. It's exactly. <laughs> no, that's amazing. Right. So we've got Confex coming up, which yeah. is um, which is really exciting. What What's in store? I know Clownfish have quite a large presence there. Yeah. I remember from the last time you guys were with us, it was a really exciting and engaging stand. So what's what's in store at the yeah. show? We won best stand. So I think we're aiming you did, for that again. You did indeed. Well done. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think we have probably got five or six six games on the stand that's mm -hmm. pretty much the whole like we're pushing the entertainment at yeah. Confex um, so that's there I mean everyone can just come it's a free for all just come and play um, I think most of the team will be there mm -hmm. um, just chatting to everyone I think like most importantly we're a really friendly bunch yeah. and we all love interacting with people so um just yeah i can't wait for that um and yeah i think we'll be quite a big presence and a fun hopefully a very fun stand that people want to come spend some time on
So thank you for joining me today for the Convex Q&A. It's been great chatting to you. Uh, <laughs> where can people find out more about Clownfish Events? Exactly. So our website is the biggest um, biggest place for us, clownfishevents.com. Um, but we're all on LinkedIn. Um, we're all sharing stuff. So feel free to connect with me or any of our team. Um, our phone number is on the website. So yeah, there's lots of places. Great. Social media, anything. TikTok, we've started that recently. Excellent. We're really trying to push that. So it's quite fun. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thank you, Sarah. You're welcome. See you Thank you. See you there. <laughs>